Super Dave here with another review. Super Dave here with an exciting Thundercats review yet again, and we have another bonus. That's right. From Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, we're going to look at Lexion. He looks like a lynx cat. I feel like he will fit in great with our Thundercats. And these guys, if you looked at my Snarf review, you saw the uh, a tree you that we covered. And this guy, he just looks great. I think he'll fit in great with our Thundercats. There is a write-up. If you'd like to pause and read that now, you can. And we're going to be breaking this one open and looking at him alongside the Thundercats. But first, our main attraction for this episode is an actual Super 7 Ultimates Thundercats Willa. And this was a secondary figure or character rather in the 80s cartoon. And there was a whole tribe of these Amazon women in the forest of Third Earth. And this was their leader. And she's looking amazing. Just check her out there. Awesome. We're going to be breaking open Willa. But there is her artwork on the back and her bio. If you'd like to pause and read that, you can. All right. Let's go ahead and break open Willa and check her out. And now as we return to Third Earth, let's take a look at our Lexion and our Willa's accessories. And first off, our Willa comes with two balled up, tightly fisted hands. She comes with actually two left-handed arrow holding hands, as well as a weapon holding hand. One is equipped. Two open palm narrow slapping type hands. So you do have an odd hand because of the fact that one of those well, both of those are arrow holding hands, but they're the same, basically. And then you see you have an arrow, a regular arrow. Then you have her quiver, which is full of arrows. Then you have her smiling head. And then you have this little fella that he comes with that we know from the cartoon, and his name is Bushy. It's a little, little figure that we saw in the uh, animated series. And then we have Again, a weapon holding hand as you see in her right hand and then another arrow holding hand there in her left. And you can see also she comes with a really nice bow. And so also on her belt, she comes with a little dagger that fits into that little sheath around her belt there, on her belt. And you see there's molded in bracelets or anklets around her ankles as well as some bracelets around her left arm. And there is her other head sculpt, which is a more serious face. And both of these have like a some kind of third earth flower stuck in the right side of the head. And that's the trick arrow that she has loaded up there. You can see kind of on the on the butt end there is a little different. And that's one of the trick arrows that she was known for. She was a master at archery. And so that rounds out her accessories. And now to take a look at Lexion's accessories. First of all, Lexion comes with some open clawing type hands. All of these are horizontally hinged on both figures. Then you have two balled up fisted hands. And he comes equipped with two weapon holding hands. And he comes with this nice rifle with some wrappings on the butt of the rifle. And then you have a crossbow, which has kind of like a skeleton type uh, dragon head, I believe, on the front of that crossbow. We'll look at it a little closer. And then a very impressive and thick dagger looking weapon. And just reading the bio, it kind of looks like Lexion might be uh, on the bad guy side of things, but 
you know, these are obscure figures and I'm just kind of going to throw them in with my Thundercats. So I'm putting him in with allies, him and a tree you as allies to the Thundercats. Just some, you know, side characters that will go well with our Thundercats and my my universe, my multiverse <laughs> or masterverse. So that rounds out both accessories. Now let's take a look at our Willa's articulation. All right, to bring in our Willow a little bit closer here, we're going to move her on over here into the center of the area. And you can see already that you can attach that quiver on her back. Just remove her head and slide that around one arm and over her back and it fits nicely back there. You can kind of shape that the way you want to and it fits underneath this hair piece nice that comes down ponytail to the front. And see this little knife here, as I was telling you a moment ago, will slide right out. And there's Bushy, by the way, being held in that hand. So I may have to remove that for a second so I can slide that out. It's a little tight, but you can see that little dagger there, a little orange and brown handle with a little bit of silver on the tip, but that slides right into that, that sheath nicely there. And so you see how that works. And like I say, with this hand here outstretched, you can pop little bushy right into the palm of it. Kind of snaps in and holds him very securely, very securely. So she can hold her little buddy there, her little pal, <laughs> as part of the Maidens of Third Earth. And Willa is the Amazon and Amazon uh, leader of the Maidens of Third Earth. And they are very familiar with the forest and swinging in the vines and hunting and all kinds of awesome things. And they also help the Thundercats know about some of the dangers of Third Earth. But going ahead and looking at her articulation, as usual with Super 7, we got really good articulation with Snarf though, I have to say, but most of the time when it comes to a human type, humanoid body, uh, basically none at all, especially females because of the hair. The hair is pretty soft, but the face, even though it is made with a better seemingly plastic than Snarf's, still have some of that brittle plastic on the hands. But overall, she seems to be made very well. She's got a very soft, rubbery dress overlaying the, the top portion. And so even though she does not get anything but just basically side to side, no left and right, no pivoting at all, she does have the ability to crunch forward just a little bit. Not really back much, just sitting up straight, but she can crunch forward. She can even go side to side a little bit here. And of course she can rotate by that diaphragm slightly, but she can also rotate at the waist. Now it's kind of underneath, well actually no it isn't. I thought it was underneath the dress, kind of like we have seen in the classified G.I. Joes, but nope, there's actually a break there under this belt so she can turn her waist. And of course with arms, she'll go 360 there. She'll be able to strike a T-pose, a little better than T-pose. Single jointed elbow, but we'll have a rotation at the elbow instead of a bicep swivel. And of course swivel and hinge at the wrist, which are all horizontally hinged. And of course she can get pretty good articulation with the legs all the way splits. The skirt does not get in the way. She gets a little bit of thigh rotation up in that joint. She can kick up about 90 degrees. Go back a good enough to do a stride, walking stride. She has single jointed knees, which seem to come down a little far, far, possibly, and also a rotation at that knee. And she has the ability to go all the way tiptoes with that bare foot, all the way up, and has excellent rockers with a peg hole in the heel. So very, very good articulation for a Thundercats Ultimates figure with the exception of the head. I think we covered everything on her. And there's no articulation features of any of her accessories other than all of her hands. But um, it is a little bit 
noticeable that I don't know at certain angles the um, the arms just look weird when you bend when you rotate them certain ways I do wish they had I don't know somehow created like they did with Pumira a um, somehow you know maybe a, a bicep swivel but uh, just I don't know with that that big thick hinge there it just looks kind of awkward sometimes at certain angles when I was posing her with the um, bow and arrow but anyway there we have Willa and she does look good I will notice one thing I've noticed and it's hard to tell on the camera but possibly actually no you can kind of see it they tried to paint this skin tone in her bosom area to match her arms and her face but they kind of failed unless there's supposed to be a, a shirt under there but it I don't know it's actually kind of discolored right there at the cleavage area and if this is supposed to be the same color as her skin tone it's not you can kind of see her neck shape and her collarbone area it's harder to tell that on the camera for sure but just take my word this right here is not the same color as her skin but what I'm gonna pretend is that she's got some kind of undergarment underneath her um, her regular clothes here now in the image that we see in the artwork she has nothing on underneath the dress type outfit and you can even see cleavage that is not the case with the action figure so I'm not sure why they didn't go that extra route with this except for the fact that she pretty much does look like she did in the cartoon so we'll give them that but she's looking good it's gonna be a lot of fun matching her up with lion -O and the rest of the Thundercats to recreate that nostalgia of that those episodes where Willa was a part of the Thundercats and Third Earth. Cool. Now let's take a look at Lexion's articulation. All right, moving our Lexion in a little bit closer. He's looking cool and intimidating with that look on his face. And I love that rifle and I was incorrect. His right weapon holding hand is a vertically hinged weapon holding hand. So that is excellent to be able to hold that rifle properly. That actually comes in very handy. And I don't think, let's see. Mm, it's hard to tell, but I think, yeah. The left one is definitely a regular horizontal hinge. So that's fine. He comes with a right vertically hinged and a left horizontally hinged weapon holding hand. He's going to be able to look up all the way. He's going to be able to look down all the way. These guys just get excellent head articulation, which is excellent. I mean, think about this. $32, Willa, $55, better plastic, better articulation overall. You know, Super 7 is going to have to step it up a notch to stay in com competition. I know that classics and ultimates classics kind of have a certain you know standard of expectation but still you know wouldn't it be awesome to have a line of Thundercats with this quality and articulation I mean I say yes but anyway that's just me but just take a look at this awesome articulation for this head he's gonna be able to do whatever you need him to do looking great there of course 360 with those shoulders the shoulder pad moves out of the way and just look at the detail of these buckles and the leather and the armor and the shoulder pads the layers there even the rivets along the edge there the two-tone contrast there just looking cool all the way into the back just looking really good he's gonna be able to get better than 90 degrees he's got bicep swivel he's got double jointed elbows he has a swivel at the gauntlet but I think that's just the the plastic gauntlet on there he has of course swivel and the horizontal hinge here on this side with the with his hands and he has remember the vertical on this side same articulation this one let's see yeah it's detached so he can still get the 360 this is not attached to the other armor it's attached to his shoulder so it still functions so that's really good the only thing I will say about these guys and I forgot to mention it when I was reviewing a tree is they do have pins 
So that's one thing Super 7 uh, has up on him. There's no pins, pinless. But that's okay. This guy's still looking good. He's going to be able to bend forward that much. He's going to be able to bend back that much. Excellent. He also has the ability to have that ball joint at the waist. So he's going to be able to get a full motion going on like hula hoop there. Plus turn at the waist. It's not going to turn at the diaphragm because that's a hinge but you get plenty of motion there. Just take a look at that. So you're gonna be able to do whatever you need to do. It's looking good. So that's excellent. Then he's gonna be able to get full splits. The skirt does move out of the way. He does have thigh rotation, kicks up a really good amount, double jointed knees, which is very good. He has the ability to go full tiptoes up all the way. Excellent rockers with the pinhole on the bottom. And this guy, he, just like a tree, you has just an uh, amazing look about him, an amazing articulation. Just love this armor that he has. Almost looks kind of like, in a way, inspired or makes me think of Man at Arms, the orange and just the armor look. But, um, so yeah, I mean, I think these guys would work with Motu Classics or Masterverse as well in size and everything. And we'll take a look at all of that as we're getting ready to take a look at Willa and Lexion with some other characters in Comparisons. And here is Willa with Snarf and lion -O and Panthro and Mandora and Tigra and Chitara. Just a lot of the gang here with Bushy and they're just having a discussion. You see the smiling face on our Willa with the little flower in her hair. Just a beautiful action figure overall. I think she looks really good in these photos or in this, this video. And uh, they may just be the happiest too. <laughs> At least Super 7 is making some happy people in Third Earth because this Willa looks happy with this other head and so does Snarf. And I think Snarf is captivated by her talking about Bushy. And uh, so that's really cool. And of course we have some of the other Thundercats over here as well. As well as some other figures. And there is our Atreyu. And speaking of Atreyu, let's go ahead and take a look at our Alexion with some other action figures also. Cool. And there's a Lexion, Lexion with a tree you from the same line, and they're looking awesome next to each other. Just look at that serious look on his face. I love that. There is a character I created with Marvel Legends Thor body with a Mythic Legion head and borrowed some hands from Pumra to do his hands and then. Uh, gave him a sword so he looks cool uh, as a as a uh, cat kind of humanoid for third earth and of course there again is our classics chief carnivus looking awesome alongside of these and then Bagali back there and Linkso and Katrina from the filmation cartoon most Masters of the Universe Mode 2 Classics Club Grayskull then the Thundercats back there so they just all look really good together I think these awesome cat like humanoids and other characters just knocking it out of the park just looking really stellar looking cool looking amazing looking awesome and thank you so much for joining us for this Super Dave review we appreciate you coming and watching our video. This has been fun checking out Willa and Lexion alongside of all these other Thundercat allies and friends on Third Earth. So please come and see us again. Hope you've enjoyed it. Be blessed. And here's some photos in the photo gallery. Take care.